What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Merry Christmas! Today I want to give you guys three different dancing Christmas lights effects that you can use to light up your base. Stick around to the end of this video for a bonus trick. One of the many things I enjoy during the holiday season is driving around the various neighborhoods and seeing people get creative with their Christmas lights. It's inspired me to create these dancing Christmas lights to show you guys. Before I show you the logic circuit setup, let me show you the three different effects in action. The first effect is an alternating blinking lights that can stretch around the walls of your room. In my example here, I didn't paint the floors or walls with any special coloring. It's just plain white right now. But you can get some pretty cool looks if you paint the walls and floors with other colors. So this is the second effect. It's the one that I actually used along the bottom of my winter base in my detailed video guide. The light starts off growing to the left and then gives off an alternating blink flash at the end. And then it repeats itself. I like how the painted walls and floors are highlighted here. And here's the third effect. This one has light bulbs slowly all turn on one by one and then they all turn off slowly one by one. When combined with different color walls and floors, you can get some pretty interesting effects. You could paint the walls with a rainbow effect too. Okay, so now let's take a look at the logic circuit setup. So this is my setup for the first effect. There are two lever switches in this setup. One is to start the dancing light effect, and the other is to completely turn off the effect. The lever by the snowman is used to jumpstart the power. You will need to enable the switch until you get the first light, and then turn it off. After that, the circuit will automatically repeat the alternating blinking effect. The lever by the tree is used to completely turn off all the lights. The generator on the right is used as a power booster to stretch your lights around the room. Now you could replace the lever by the snowman with a pressure plate. This will allow you to stand on it and then just walk off. And this is the second lighting effect with the lights alternating lighting up and a flash at the end. The switch by the snowman is used to jumpstart the effect. Enable it until the first light starts and then turn it off. The lever by the Christmas tree is used to power off all the lights. And here you can also replace the lever by the snowman with a pressure plate. This will allow you to hide it under the floor, since you only need to stand on it briefly to jumpstart the effect. Now this third lighting effect setup has two different effects depending on how you use the snowman switch. If you flip the switch on and leave it on, you get an effect that slowly turns on all the lights and then slowly turns them all off. The switch here currently is toggled to the right, which is power. And the lever by the Christmas tree turns off all the lights. Now with the same setup, if you enable the lever by the snowman on once and then turn it off after the first light, it creates a single dancing effect moving around. So here you'll see the light is slowly moving to the left and then it repeats itself. For my bonus trick, I will tell you how you can hide the generator and lever from glowing in the dark. The generators and levers have these yellow lights around them, which can be pretty ugly and sticks out in the dark even when hiding them behind closed walls. Certain objects can be used to cover up the generator and switch. For instance, the Christmas tree can be used to conceal the generators so you don't actually have to hide them behind the walls. So here you can see the Christmas tree completely hides the generator. The vending machine can also be used. The vending machine and the tree does glow in the dark though. Now if you want to completely hide the generator and not have anything glow in the dark, you can actually use the stone shelf, the wooden sign, tulip, or variations of the wooden sign. These are found in the sunken sea biome. 
You can also use a large shelf or a cabling pillar. So these things, when used, can completely hide the generator and levers. And then you can actually put a wall completely around this and then you won't get that yellow light glowing in the dark. There are other decorative objects that you can find in the game world that can be used as well, but I'll leave that for you to discover. And that's it! Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more cool, fun, Core Keeper videos. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite dancing lights, and happy holidays!